What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing the Saints Magic Fire is OP, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can notify on next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP episode 11. It was titled Predicament. I assume it was going to be Say and everybody else put in a predicament pretty early in the episode and they were like going to try to overcome it. But no, it wasn't. I had to look for predicaments in this episode. So we had Say in a predicament where she knows what powers the Saint Country, the blessing, it's thinking about average love, love, <laughs> and she's a little embarrassed by it, and so she's like, okay, this is really embarrassing. I can't always think about Albert just to cast the Saint Conjury. So she tries to solve it by separating work and pleasure. She tried to think of it as a job, and then she experiments it. Okay, it works. She can do it. She can cast Saint Conjury without failing embarrassed. Then we have Landhart. You know how I think about Landhart. Mm -hmm. He wants Say to be part of his mercenary because he's he only thinks of her as a mage, right? A mage who can heal and make potions. And then he's being told by Corinne and Albert that he can't. And remember, Say didn't tell Landhart that she's the same. She says she was an alchemist, so he has no idea. And he's like so confused why they're so against him bringing Say into his mercenary. And they're like kind of giving hints without giving hints. Like they're talking about like he knows and he's like, wait, is she the saint? And there was like, oh my gosh, you just realized it now? Even Say had that reaction too. And I was like, girl, you know what you did. You lied to him. And then... Lionheart totally changed on her like he started talking to her more formally treating her like a lady and he's like hey stop that please stop just talk to me like you normally do informal familiar etc etc he's like okay <laughs> and I forgot to mention in the beginning of the episode they show Yuri and Ira and Ira is at the Magi assembly and Yuri's upset that he didn't go to the closet or domain with Say and the rest. And then Yuri, he went to leave so he can join them. And then he notices Ira. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, wait, Ira could totally ship with Yuri because Ira likes to learn about magic now. She likes her magic. She knows she can do something with magic. And she's joining the magic assembly, right? They could totally get together with Yuri teaching her, grooming her, helping her grow her magic power. While and Ira, she can learn from him, she can admire him, and then she can totally fall in love with him because through this whole process of growing her powers, her emotions for him will grow too. Okay, so that was in, that was in the beginning of the the episode we didn't see them after that we saw that's we saw them and then that's it and it just focused on they and the rest so focusing on them they go on the expedition they're in a forest and then they encounter slimes these slimes they're small they are acidic and they seem kind of harmless because just hit them with magic and they're done but they're immune they can repel against physical attacks, I believe. And the thing is, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of slimes. And say she knows how to work with her St. Country now. She's like, pass, pass, pass. But the slimes, they're, there's a lot of them. They're like large in number. And just because Say can do that, she can't do like the big AOE thing. I think that was a fluke. And so they're kind of getting in trouble. It's like, oh no. And then all of a sudden, flames, whoosh, 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 whoosh. And we see Yuri, a little like flash of him with his earring. Ding, 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 ding. And then we see more flames, tar flames. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And we see Ira. 
Ira is there and I was like, oh dang! We see Ira, she is in action. We're actually going to see her work with her magic, her kind of cheat skill thing. And then that's when I realized, Ira wants to be a mage, right? She wants to get into the magic vocation. That's a mage thing, right? Lanhart needs a mage. And he wanted to say because she can heal and make potions. So I was like, Ira can heal. She can't make potions, but she can heal. And I'm thinking, oh, Ira could join Leonhard's mercenary. She can join his mercenary. Travel, do work. Always put her magic into work. She can find meaning in her life. And they can be with him. And spending time with him, they could get together. I know I veered off from Say in the story and talking about Irish shipping with Yuri, Irish shipping with Leonhard, but I'm just so happy to see Ira being able to do something outside of Prince Kyle. I thought she was trapped with him. That's so nice to see potential of where her life in this isekai will go. Let me know what you guys think. If you think that I'm talking about Ira and who she's going to get with a bit too much, my bad. I can't help it. I'm just so excited to see Ira outside of where Kyle is and such. If you want to focus more on Say, let me know what you think about her and her situation. I mean, it's pretty set. She's with Albert. She's the saint. She knows how to cast the saint conjury. She's going to help bless the land, but she has to get through these slimes first. I guess the next thing for her is how to do a mast. Mass, mass, conjury, casting. How is she going to bless the land? Because the land is a big thing. Like, is she going to go to different plots and be like, bless, plot, bless, plot, bless? Or is she going to try and do a big AOE thing? That's interesting. That's that's something to think about. Yeah. And that's my review of The Saints Magic Part is OP episode 11. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of Twitch and YouTube, I host podcasts across worlds where you talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Super Fina channel reviewing the Saints Magic Par is OP episode 11. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Super Fina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.